now is the Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters. And um, let's bring them into the conversation. Very interesting statement being brought by the National Assembly, Mr. Marshal Jlamini, who were concerned that you almost derailed this State of the Nation address with your approach to the courts, which you later abandoned. So before we talk about your expectations of what's to come out of this speech, let's start there. Why did you want to take the presiding officers to court? Well, uh, look, afternoon to you and uh, the viewers at home. The, the reality is that uh, is, uh, we're saying we are members of parliament and Cyril must come and account him. And uh, this thing of still using hybrid when all other sectors have been opened uh, for people to go to work, the mining industry, the economy is open. There's not even a curfew now. But he doesn't want to come and account on full members of parliament. He still wants to hide behind cameras and say to people they must be on hybrid and we bring lesser numbers. And we, don't, we, don't, we, do, and we did not take kindly to that. And we told them that we were elected, all of us members of parliament of the EFF, to come uh, to represent uh, our people and to make sure that we hold the, the government accountable. Yeah. And that's what we were demanding. That, that, that's the principle that oh, uh, this hall it takes over 1,000 people. There's only 400 members of parliament. Open, let's all come here and make sure that we, 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 we attend to him. He must account. He must stop hiding behind this uh, hybrid and, uh, and Zoom system. If you felt so strongly about it as the EFF, why did you abandon the application? No, we didn't abandon the application. The presiding officers, they came and they increased our numbers. Initially, they said only 24 uh, members of parliament of the EFF. We told them that that won't happen. Then they came back and then they said, no, please, let's meet each other halfway. I, I think over 46 of us were here today, so we did not abandon anything. We are, we are still coming here. We put our foot down to say we're elected to come here, so let, let's come to Parliament. So we're here today. You'll see all of us who are here. And so it's clear, therefore, that by you being present here today and at least the numbers having been met from your side, we're not going to see any disruptions, are we, tonight? No, we've never disrupted, no, we've never disrupted Parliament since the inception of the EFF. We just come and make sure that we do what is expected of us, holding the executive uh, accountable including whoever is a president. So it's never been a disruption. We, we make sure even today that's exactly what we're going to come and do. Okay, and means that um, because of the shuttle system that the national parliament has instituted for the purposes of this event tonight, your officials are happy to get into those shuttles and be dropped off at a specific um, stop and then they walk into the chamber. Is, yeah. that, is that something that you're comfortable with? You, you know us, we are, we are just uh, members of parliament who are uh, servicing this country. We never had any issues with how uh, parliament functions in terms of uh, the security services. We always comply when the workers here in parliament and say, this is an entry point, this is a check-in point, this is where you must go for screening. That's exactly what we did. Wow. All of us, uh, as a uh, leadership of the EFF, we've never had issues. So people, they want to uh, impose this image that we are disruptive. We're going to come, we follow the process. If they say, let's go to screening, we'll, we'll go to screening. And then, but eventually, we're going to arrive in that uh, city hall and make sure that uh, we hold Cyril accountable. Let's talk about your expectations of what the president should address as key issues that stand out for you as the economic freedom fighters about the state of our nation. Look, there's, uh, there's not much expectation that we expect from him. We, we said it. Uh, initially when he took office that he all he wanted in his life is to be a president but he didn't know what to do about presidents he's got no ideas he can't think as we're sitting here now everything that he said last year including uh, develop, putting smart cities the economy is not developing the, the mining uh, industry the agriculture industry the manufacturing industry all of them they've decreased no contribution to the gdp the issues of unemployment. When he came here to present the state of nation, unemployment was sitting at 30 percent. Now it's sitting at 34 percent. So there's nothing. You're just wasting your time to expect anything to come from Cyril. He's yeah. got no ideas, including the cabinet that is leading. I, I, I would like to think, as the EFF, you are one party that, during your short time being members of parliament, you have done something that frankly, I have never seen before, and that is to say, 
Yes, we may not be in government, but this is what we have done to agitate for change so that people's lives can change for the better, whether it be at National Assembly or the provincial legislatures. Are there issues that you feel strongly enough about that as useless as you think the president may be, but this is something that you're going to force on his government in order to deliver to the people? Look, we will, we will continue to do our part. You remember that we went uh, to that whole process of uh, amending Section 25, because for us, we know that the fundamental change, what will economic, economically liberate our people in this country, is for them to have access uh, of their land. We, we went uh, on, on that, we went through the process, and the ANC, they decided that uh, appropriation of land, giving land to our people, is a is a is the most difficult thing and they and then they rejected it yeah. so we'll continue doing that uh, persuading them in in, in in committees we say to them you you, you must uh, in, in the mineral space we must beneficiate so that we can create industries there must be jobs in this country our people are unemployed it's all those things that we keep putting on committees uh, every time we speak we're saying the economy must be transferred to the majority of uh, of our people and we know that they, they, they don't have those interests because those that are handling them, they've got no interest of seeing uh, black people participating in this economy. So we will be pushing uh, those things. We were voted. We've got the numbers that we have in Parliament. Yeah. So we're going to continue doing that uh, in this whole term. Call me strange, Mr. Lamin, but I would have expected the EFF to agitate as strongly for this particular issue which you started the year with to say the ratio between South Africans employed by various businesses in South Africa versus foreign nationals. I thought that that possibly would have been uppermost in your mind seeing that you kicked off the year with that program by going and inspecting businesses. Where is that now? No, it's still there. It's part of the programs that we're going to be embar embarking on. But the issue that even that message must not be distorted as if we are saying uh, our African brothers and sisters, they must live in the country. We are meeting all, uh, all sectors, uh, starting with the hospitality industry, to say when you are employing uh, your, your staff, you must be considerate. We are not saying remove uh, our people from, from the continent. We are saying you are in South Africa. You must be considerate of the high levels of unemployment here in, in South Africa, and the people who are guilty of creating the confusion between ourselves and, the, and our brothers in the continent are the employers. That is why we are taking the game straight to the, uh, to the employers. But we're going to be doing that within uh, this uh, uh, parliament system through the Ministry of, of Labour in committees, because no serial has got no capacity. We'll do it, but we know that all this thing has been created by the ANC because even what happens at the shop floor, where we find that our people in the construction industry, in the farming industry, they in the in, in the Pombo and, and Pumalanga, we've got where farmers they even employ uh, the the uh, our brothers from the continent, and they don't even pay them. And then when it's time to get salaries, they they just bring police. So we want to make sure that it's it's something that we're going to be doing. Uh, in if you know the program of action that was adopted by the EFF, which we're going to outline to everyone. Part of the program is to go to those areas to still make sure that there is, a, there is employment for our people there, but not at the expense of our, of, our, of our African brother. If there is no real change as you roll out the program, however you're going to do it, but if there's no real change after your attempted interventions, no, there, what there is the solution? No, there will be change. Remember, when we start a program, we don't, we don't, we don't stop until... Uh, that has been delivered. There will, there will, there will be change. Remember, we, we are a party that continue to persuade our people, continue to conscientize our people in terms of what is the right direction, what is uh, within best for peaceful them. Means. We've done everything within peaceful means. That we've never done anything uh, that is not uh, peaceful. We have never done that unless in areas of provocation, when we provoke us, then we have to respond. But we're going to be doing it in peaceful means. That's why we're saying. Even now, what they've done, uh, these employers, they are the ones that have created animosity between our brothers uh, and our people here in, in, in the country. They are not the initiators. They are not the ones who employ themselves in these uh, industries. It's these uh, 
a monopoly is we employ and then and then exploit them and then they make sure that there's conflict between our people that's why it's our responsibility as revolutionaries to continue conscientizing our people so that they know who's the real enemy and who's coming in between them let me ask you this final question the judicial service commission conducted interviews this past week and the performance of both your former chairperson and leader of the EFF. For some people, it was distasteful. There was, according to them, no substance except to push politics. Are you satisfied with the performance of their level of questioning of the judges? No, those people, they're talking nonsense. They must first go and watch the interviews when uh, Chief Justice Mokhoem came in. The interviews have always been robust. The President and Commander-in-Chief and our former uh, National Chairman, Dalimbo, actually, they are the ones who, who worked hard because a criminal, criminals now would have been on their way uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to be Chief Justices. Where a, a man who, would who, be, who would you who, characterize as a criminal among uh, the four uh, candidates? No, the, uh, let's, let's, let's start with Zondo. That, that's a criminal behavior of a man that is expected to be Chief Justice who says, I went to a meeting twice with the former President Zuma. I know the address, I know the date, I know the venue, but I don't know what was discussed. That, that, that's, that's how criminals behave. They are not honest. So that was a criminal behavior of, uh, of, uh, of Zondo because he's not just an ordinary guy like me and you. It's someone who's supposed to be the custodian of the, our judiciary in this country. And then he just goes there and, and behaves like a, a noxman. This one, Mlambo, we've seen him through his, his judgments that uh, today he says, no, the uh, public protector has got no powers uh, to instruct other uh, state uh, departments or agencies to take a decision when it's not on his favor, it's, all, it's, all, it's about his uh, handlers. Then he changes that, no, 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 today you don't have powers. Mm -hmm. When they want it, he's got powers. So you can see that you are dealing with two dishonest and they were caught in, on, on, on their tracks. And we're going to make sure that those two, they don't arrive on that, uh, on that uh, Chief Justice uh, seat because they've demonstrated. So he was harassing people in his commission to say, you must remember something when it's about him. He does not remember. How can you trust a person like that? Well, the EFF has always been creative in its ways to try and find information. You are very cozy with the former president. You even pay him a visit to his home in Gandla. What stops you from going there to ask what was the meeting about? Ask who Zondo? Ask no, but we, former but President Zuma. No, no, no. We know what was the meeting about. We know we, we don't have a problem. We know that. That's oh, why so you know the content. We know, we know everything. That's so tell why. Us. No, so no, this no. Your platform. Tell no, it's, 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 I don't have to tell you. All of Zondo. As we're not the one being interviewed. Remember, so Zondo knew uh, what was the meeting about. The, 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 that's why when we, the president asked him what was the meeting about, and then he said, no, no, no. He actually in that meeting. He, that's when he left that office of Chief Justice. He realized that rather than to tell and take the country uh, into confidence on what we discussed with uh, President Zuma at that time, he'd rather uh, give up on that thing of being Chief Justice. That's why when he finished, he said, I'll never come back here. So even if there's a rerun, Zono, he said he will never go back to that seat because he knows that he could not be an honest man, honorable uh, chief, uh, man, uh, deputy Chief Justice who can take the country into confidence on what transpired in those meetings, that he knows about it. Marshal Lamini, let's uh, leave it there for today. Thank you very much, you. and uh, good luck at uh, the State of the Nation address. Hopefully, things are going to go peacefully. Thank you. No, definitely, they will go peacefully. We are uh, peaceful uh, and, uh, uh, and honorable members of parliament. We are here to represent our people. They voted for us. They said go to that parliament uh, for now as opposition and make sure that we hold uh, them accountable. So this one who's got no ideas is going to finish a term without any new idea from him. At least he must come with something. So we'll be here and make sure that we do what is expected of us as members of parliament. All right. Uh, Marshal Lamini, he is uh, the Secretary General of uh, the Economic Freedom Fighters, but also a member of the National Assembly, or should I say member of parliament from the EFF.